Okay, girlfriends, welcome back to the channel for another video this week. If you're new here, my name is Jerry Nika Maisi, but all my friends call me G. And if you're a returning subscriber, thanks for coming back this week and clicking on my face. Now, if you haven't already, go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up, like, share, comment, subscribe. Make sure to follow me over on Instagram, girl, for all of the fabulous updates and come on back over here each week for weekly uploads. Today, I'm back with another part of the fashion diaries. Now, lately, I've been in the era of, I'm not gonna say revamping my whole wardrobe, but kind of like revamping my personal style I feel like my personal style is always changing evolving and growing which I absolutely love because it's so fun to see kind of like where you started and where you are now and I'm sure like next year this time or two years from now I'm gonna be like okay it's time to revamp it a little more but right now I'm in the season of revamping revamping my personal style and I wanted to share this with you guys because I get so many questions on how to find your personal style and you know where to start so I'm gonna share today some of the tips that I've been using to revamp my personal style I'm gonna tell you guys how it's going and I'm also going to share with you guys just a few pieces that I'm adding into the the mix of the things so if you're interested in this video girl just keep watching anytime my style is about to change or evolve or something is happening with my style the first thing I realize is anytime I'm shopping whether I'm in store or online I don't like anything like I don't buy anything I'm just kind of like even when I have the urge to spend money and buy something I can't I can't find anything to purchase so every time that happens to me I just stop shopping altogether and then I go back and kind of like sit with my closet now for the past year I've been doing this like monthly purge so probably like at the end of the month or the beginning of a new month I always go through my closet and I purge now I know some people be like that's a lot no y'all when I tell y'all this has literally helped me dial back from buying unnecessary things but also curate a wardrobe that I'm falling head over heels in love with now when it comes to purging I have wardrobe rack they have things on it now uh, I call this wardrobe rack my probation rack on this rack anything that go on this rack you're on probation every single time I purchase something I put it on this rack I don't pop the tags on nothing when I buy something I don't care if I love it you're on probation because guess what you can probably go on sale and I'm gonna return you and get you on the sale price or I just don't love you or uh, sometimes we make impulsive purchases and when you sit with them for a little while before you just put them in a the closet and then just disappear with all the other things, if you put them on a probation rack, I promise you, you you're gonna sit with it and be like, you know what, you didn't need that, let's return it. So every month I will purge out my closet. That's definitely a tip. Purge your closet. I started doing doing it monthly because I definitely saw um, that it was helping me. Every month I would just go through my closet and pick things that I haven't worn in a long time or things I'm just not reaching for anymore and I will put them on this rack. I don't care if I love them or I make excuses like, oh, I'm going to wear it one day. If I'm not wearing it, especially if I haven't worn it in like a year, I'm going to put it on this rack. Now, on the rack, by the whole week, I'm just going to constantly keep going through this rack, trying on these things, and I slowly just let them go, y'all. So the probation rack is like this. If you're on a probation rack and you make it past, then you can go to the closet and get with all of the other girls. If not, I'm going to either donate you, sell you, or return you. So I would definitely recommend stop shopping, purge out your closet, and get you a probation rack because this rack has saved my life next tip I would definitely recommend playing dress up with the clothes that's already in your closet this I've, this is something I've been doing girl since like high school or middle school probably I love to play dress up with the clothes that I already have one it reminds me what I have in my closet Two, it reminds me what I like and don't like so when I'm shopping I know I don't need to buy this no more because this is not flattering on me and I it just keeps me accountable and showing me okay this is what we need to be shopping for or sometimes it helps me understand wait I don't have a pair of let's say black shoes it shows me what I'm also missing so playing dress up in my closet it just helps me keep inventory of all of the things that I have and sometimes when I have pieces on my probation rack I will play dress up with them and if they don't mix effortlessly with other pieces in my wardrobe I would definitely get rid of them because I know if I'm not trying to mix and match you with things now when it's time for me to get dressed and go somewhere I'm still not gonna pick pick for you so I would definitely say play dress up Pour you a glass of wine, get you a playlist, and just play dress up with the clothes that you have in your um, wardrobe already. You can mix and match different looks. Also, this is a great way to help you pre-style some looks and know what you want to wear. Maybe if you're going to an event or you have some upcoming things that you're going to be outside for, this is the perfect way to know, oh girl, I could wear this for this. It just helps you get a little more acquainted with the stuff that's in your closet, especially if you're a person who's just shopping, 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 buying, 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 hanging things up. You really don't know what you have in your closet and you're probably buying the same 
same things over and over and over. I realize for me, I, do, I love volume, but I don't love ruffles. But I kept buying ruffles. And every time I will purge each month, I'm getting rid of things that have ruffles on it. So now I know anytime I buy something, I'm not, I, I kind of like stay away from um, the ruffles. I love a voluminous piece, but I definitely stay away from ruffles now because that's something that I used to like, but I come to realize I don't like it anymore. So, and I found that out by playing dress up in my closet and putting things on this probation rack, okay? Next tip I would say, when you do start back shopping, shop intentionally. Shop the things that you know is gonna be flattering on you. Shop the things that will mix and match seamlessly with the pieces already in your wardrobe. And shop for pieces that you can have in your wardrobe for a year years and years to come. Of course, you may not have things forever, but I would definitely say shop intentionally. Shop with the idea of Am I gonna wanna wear this a year from now? What is the quality like? Don't just buy just to buy. And the people who drive me crazy, y'all, is the people who um, outfit shop. Like if they go places and they just buy an outfit. And then when they have to go somewhere else, they have to buy another outfit. Don't shop like that. That is such a waste of money. You wanna buy pieces that it's gonna mix and match seamlessly with the pieces already in your closet. So when you're shopping, Girl, please shop intentionally. I don't care if it's on sale or whatever. Even if you go crazy and you buy things on sale, put the sale pieces, all of the things, on your probation rack, okay? Whether they gotta be on your, hanging up on your dough, your closet dough, put it on a probation period before you just hang it up in your closet because it's probably things that you really don't need or really don't like sometimes we fall in love with the price not the pieces okay for the girls at home who's like gee how long is the probation period if i buy something and a return policy says 30 days my probation period is going to be 30 days and i'm not taking it off this rack because let me tell you something i've purchased things full price and guess what popped the tags got just too happy hung it up in my closet and a week later it's seven 75% off. It's 50% off. Absolutely not. I'm going to use that whole probation period. However long you give me to return this item, that's the probation period, okay? Do y'all see this right? You see this right? There's items on here. I'm actually going to show y'all these items, but I'm not taking these things off here because guess what? If I take it off and pop them tags, I'm going to be highly upset. Now, another tip. When I'm shopping right now, because I am I shop so intentionally, y'all, I used to be the girl like, if I could afford it, baby, I'm buying it. I like it, I'm buying it. I'm not like that no more. Now, like especially when I'm in New York, I love to go in Soho and just walk, go into these shops, try on these things, see what I like. A lot of people don't feel like they, they're able or they should or could go into these these nice stores, luxury stores, designer stores, contemporary stores, whatever, and just try things on. Even if you go in and you don't have the intention of buying, I like to, uh, I guess you can call it window shop sometime because when I go into these stores, like let's say Cos, I want to try it on and see how your brand fits on my body in case I have to order something online. I don't have a Cos here. So now I know, okay, at Cos, I need to go up a size um, in their pants or go down a size in sweaters because I've tried on their clothes. I know how to cut fit. I like to just get comfortable with different brands and just see what looks good on me in case I do have to purchase something online and I'm not able to buy it in stores. So I would definitely recommend and window shop window shopping is like some of my fit now I don't always just window shop sometimes I just have to buy something if I fall in love with something it gotta come home to me and go on my probation rack you know but window shopping is so fun I, I know a lot of people don't like doing it but with me it helps me get an idea of the current fashions and what I also like and don't like now let's just get into the pieces that I'm adding and some of the pieces that I'm returning so I can kind of like break it down on why I'm keeping some things and why I'm returning some things and hopefully this will help you while shopping so first we can start off with the dress that I'm wearing today do I really have to explain why I'm keeping her like do you see see this it's just good okay the price was good the quality is amazing i did size down in this i did order it in two sizes i got a medium and a large and the large i walked around the house in her for a little while what i didn't like is it just was too loose it didn't give like this form-fitting vibe and the medium was perfect now i would recommend sizing down because this dress is extremely stretchy and i believe she's still in stock now this is something that i could wear to dinner a date if i'm out with the girls this is just something good it's easy and what i love about it is not only is it black but it gives you like a little more zhuzh to it okay it's just not like a simple black dress I, I love this and also with this material it's like this spandex material so it won't fade like if it was cotton I probably would have just stayed away from it I'm not also a fan of like ribbed pieces because they do fade and the more you wear them I don't like when my 
form fitted dresses throughout the day they just get super loose and they're not flattering and she's just good okay i could put on boots i could put on heels it's just a good piece so this had to be in the collection because this is also something that i feel like it's grown it's sexy this is something that i'm going to want to wear a year from now two years from now i just don't see myself parting ways with this because girl do you see the top do, do you see this it's just giving okay all right so next up i got this black fitted tube top dress what i love about this dress it is like this coated material now this is also another piece that is super stretchy i had to also size down in this one i got it in a large and a medium i personally feel like i like the fit of the medium better the large had way too much room in the um mid area and when i walk it just looked it, it wasn't flattering now the reason i purchased this dress because this dress it is this dress that y'all i picked this up from boohoo years ago and it's kind of like my go-to black tube top dress because for me i love a black moment okay it's easy it's chic and i don't have to think too hard and you just look good okay especially when i'm feeling a little pudgy when you put on black you just look good okay and sometimes you look skinny but with this dress it's just cheaply made as you can see it's like just a stretchy dress and look at the difference there's definitely a difference in the dresses of course right now i don't have on the proper undergarments and the um half a bra i have on y'all just ignore her because she, this girl ain't worth a dollar okay she's not supporting nothing she's like whatever but this has been on my um probation rack y'all I'm going to say since the beginning of summer now the thing is this i still was reaching for this but i wasn't pleased with the quality so when i saw this one at zara i had to pick this up and just replace this one so now i can get rid of this girl and i'm going to just have this one all i need is one black fitted tube dress and what i love about this one it looks a little more elevated because it is like this coated material it looks almost leather but it's not i love this this is just a vibe all i have to do is like grab a bag and i could just wear this thing so many different ways so that's why i'm get, keeping this one and i'm returning well returning the large keeping this one getting rid of the boohoo dress if you have something in your wardrobe and you love you always wearing it but you're not in love with like the quality this is the perfect example to kind of like be on the hunt for those pieces like i said i had this one on the probation rack since the beginning of summer however i was still pulling for this one wearing it maybe if i'm going to like lunch with my sister or i'm going to the pool and i just still want to look put together because what i love about these dresses i look put together don't have to do too much put on a pair of sunglasses and i'm good but i wasn't pleased with the quality of this one so now that i'm pleased with the quality of this one we can please with the quality of this one we can go ahead and let her go now next up i have this kimono i picked this up from zara and the only reason i picked her up because i also have it in pink and i did get my cost per wear from this thing now these were pretty pricey but y'all know how i feel about bizarre prices at this point we don't even need to complain but i wore this one so much that i was like when it came in the gray i thought this would be perfect for the um fall winter time because this is perfect for summer i personally wouldn't wear this one in a fall winter so i got the uh gray now anytime i'm adding pieces to my wardrobe i will forever be a statement piece girl and i feel like this right here is a statement piece i don't know if it'll look good with this dress but i'm gonna still try it on this is like such a statement piece all you have to do is put this on no i would not wear it with the um with the the dress i did however try this on with like a white crop top with some jeans some oversized um jeans it was so good such a moment so what i love about it is such a statement piece like i don't have to do too much all you have to do is put this thing on and let it do the um talking i'm always going to be a statement piece girl so i don't think i would ever stop buying statement pieces and i'm a i'm a sucker for a good kimono and she was a good kimono so this is something that i'm happy to have and also something that i feel like can grow in my wardrobe as uh, my style and stuff evolves i also picked up these pants and y'all know in my what I purchased in New York haul, I was telling y'all that I was on a hunt. I got these pants in like four different colors and I wanted them in black because I feel like I have a lot of black pants. I can't, not, can't lie to y'all, but I had to have these because these are perfect. Now I did pick these up in a size, y'all gonna see them on the screen. I did pick these up in an extra large because I like the fact that they're long on me. So when I get them taken in the waist, it's like the perfect length and stuff. So I went up a size and I'm gonna just get them all to fit my size. But also another piece that 
that I feel like I can mix and match with so many different things in my closet and I don't have to think too hard okay I can wear these on a day when I want to be casual cute I'm just running errands or if I want to be a little more zhuzhed up I'll run um pull for these next up I got two tops the first top is this zip up top the only reason let me see if I can try it on with this dress because y'all I don't really feel like trying these clothes on but I still want y'all to get the vibe y'all know in my um what I purchased in New York haul I got the dress version of this. I love the dress version so much that I had to get it in the top because I feel like with the top, I can mix and match it with other things in my wardrobe and I love this. It's definitely giving like a Rick Owens vibe. It's just a vibe, okay? Especially for the price and the quality, chef's kiss. So I did pick this up. Now what I love about this top is I could actually like just play with the zippers. When I tried it on with some pants, I did have like the bottom zip a little open. It's just a good piece that I can mix and match with other things. So I did um pick this up. now. I did pick this up in three sizes. I believe this is a large. I got a large, a medium, and a extra large. I kept the large because I liked the way the large fit. The uh, medium was too small and the extra large was way too like frumpy. So she's cute. I, I like her, okay? All right, so this next top I'm also not gonna try on, but I'm gonna put it on the screen because I'm actually taking this to get altered with those pants. Now this right here, I did pick it up in the brown or the more rusted version that they uh first dropped. I love that top so much, y'all, that I had. When I saw it in black, I'm like, no brainer, right? So it is like this halter top so you would just kind of like put it on like this and it has buckles so you will buckle it and your back will be out Girl, let me tell you something something about a woman's back okay ladies do not miss back day okay do not miss arms legs and back baby because listen the back this right here, y'all, she's a piece. I had to pick this up and I did get this one in a size extra large and I'm gonna get it altered because I do have a little room and I just need her to cinch it in just a little more. But this is pieces that I'm obsessed with. Like, they, they're on the uh, probation rack, but they're not getting returned. Next up, I picked up this sweater. It's like this metallic sweater i love this it is a crop top i did size all the way down in this because usually in sweaters i like to size down because throughout the day they do get a little loose and frumpy on me i'm not trying this one on either y'all because i'm just i just don't feel like it but i'm gonna put it on the screen for y'all but i love this i tried this on with a pair of trousers and it just gives you such an effortless chic look with a pair of sunglasses of course don't worry y'all all of these pieces i have a bomb styling video coming for y'all and you guys will see all of the pieces um styled up but this right here i did get this in a size um small because the large was way too frumpy the problem i be having with crop top sweaters i have to size all the way down because it's like everything will fit but right here it gives you all of this room and when you put it on it just looks frumpy with the small it fits perfect i did try it on with some high-waisted white trousers <laughs> with some aviators it was a moment so this is stuff like it's perfect for me i live in the south it does not get too cold this is something that i can actually wear now it's 66 degrees today this would be perfect i won't get too hot and i won't be too cold it's just like the perfect little sweater so i love this and it's on trend because it has metallic what i love about this one is not super metallic to where it's like okay the metallic wave has just um ran its course i can't wear this sweater no more no it's like perfect it's like slightly metallic oh I don't know if you can see that it's washing out but she, she's a good girl you should be sitting on the screen i want to put on my house shoes so bad i do not like the way my feet feel on floor it's just so cringy i'm like i want to put on these y'all don't understand i want to put on this house slipper so bad but look at this it's gonna look so ghetto oh no wait maybe i could just walk right here and y'all won't see me okay that's what i'm gonna do okay now listen up i'm gonna need you to pay attention close attention to me this also another piece I can't try on because the only reason I'm not trying on this girl, baby, it's a lot of vibe, vibe, boom, okay? Oh, y'all, this is get, giving Rick Owens at its finest. It's giving Rick Owens tease, baby. I'm going to come closer. Look at this, y'all. See how buttery it looks on the um camera? It is so buttery, y'all. For... $50. I did get this in a 2XL because I wanted room. I knew this was going to be a mini dress because if you turn it around to the back, your back is out. But they have like this little situation where you tie up. So it's like all of this is back. It cuts real low right above the butt. But they have like this little strap. So I love this. And it's like this cow neck. Y'all, this dress, listen to me. 
she's bad i did purchase it in an extra large large and i got this one this one is way too big for me but once she i rather buy it big and let her alter it to my body versus it being too small and i turn around and i don't have enough um length because you know if you got butt it's gonna go up in the back the um 2xl fits perfect over the butt it gives me length so I don't want it to be like too too short because this dress is very sexy my back is gonna be out i don't want a back, back and booty out no 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 so it is long enough so i would definitely say if you're a curvy girl size up and get it altered and if you're not curvy if you maybe you know petite get your regular size sis but this right here y'all this girl is a must when i saw this girl baby it was a no-brainer i ran okay i ran i was like i need to purchase every size i can because i can't miss out on this one and i'm so happy i um did get it and also it has like this halter top neck i'm gonna put it on the screen but i'm gonna actually run out tomorrow to get this altered because i want to try uh, do like the whole styling video with you guys we have to style this up because oh when i tell y'all she is good i know i'm not giving i'm not doing a dress any justice but just take my word, she is that girl. And y'all, something about them, I'm telling y'all, ladies, you don't have to show too much boobage. You don't have to show too much leg. Show that back, it's over. Shut the scene down, girl. Back is so underrated. All right, so next up, I wanna share with you guys a few um, pieces that I'm actually returning and I'm proud of myself, okay? So, Mm, let's just throw them on the ground first return is going to be the same dress and oh it looks better you guys can kind of like see the uh texture of the dress isn't that pretty this is a large i did not like the large so i'm returning her i'm also returning this jacket because i don't need it and i also hate the fact that i don't like the um the texture i think i misread the uh the details i don't like this and i definitely don't need it it's just it's too manly and it makes me look like Humpty Dumpty. She's going back. <sighs> now the next things, I am upset. I am upset about this because anytime I order from Zara, I order both sizes, how many, however many sizes I feel like I'm gonna need because nowadays, girl, things are Zara sell out and I ain't got time for that. I rather order as many as I need and then return them. So I ordered these fringe gloves. So I got them in a medium, which I know they are going back. And I got them in a the large. Now the thing is this, I don't hate these gloves. These are full leather gloves. However, I'm returning them because these were $80. Anything that's $80, I'll just go ahead and round it up to 100. So I'm gonna say $100, okay? It's not giving $100, y'all. I was very upset because on the website, the girl, hers, I'm gonna put them on the screen. Hers, it looks so full and voluminous and giving like, yes. You see this? Hold on, let me see. You see this? These little see-through fringe. I'm giving major ray, baby. We taking this back. If now these fringes were more full like the ones on the website, I would have kept these because I feel like, oh, this is a diva moment. Put on a pair of black cat eye sunglasses. <sighs> baby, these gloves taking everything out of me. My God. So, can just imagine. Oh, do you see this? Like, just imagine me. Yes, mm-hmm. I don't like these gloves, y'all. I wish they were more full. The girl on the screen, her, hers is giving like full. I said, oh yes, ma'am, we need them. When I got them, I said, well, where the rest of it at? I don't like that. Maybe if it was like, see how I needed it to be like this, like extra. Now see that, how full that look versus, mm -mm, not for a hundred. done. For a hundred dollars, we gonna take, I'm taking them back. So y'all don't even got to tell me to keep them because I'm taking them back. Oh, girl, that took everything out of me. To say I didn't do a try on, baby, I am wow, out, okay? But next, I did pick up a handbag. Now, you guys know uh, I have been extremely, I'm proud of myself. I have been extremely intentional when it comes to buying handbags. I am a handbag girl, so it's so easy for me to just buy, buy, buy. But I've actually been, like, sitting with things and seeing what I really need and just what makes um, more sense to have in my collection. So I did pick up... A bag y'all I first saw this bag when I was in New York and I was like I did see it in a larger size and I said man if I could get this in a mini size I'm copying it and guess what one night I'm just scrolling the internet around 2 a.m. and bam what do I find are you seeing this are you seeing this color it is this taupey brown hold on let me come closer it's like this taupey brown 
Givenchy Antagona Mini. I don't have any just plain brown bags. All of my brown bags are either um, monogram or they have like some type of zhuzh going on. When I saw this, y'all, I just was... I was obsessed. It does come with the strap. Anytime I think about the Givenchy Antagona, the mini, it just fits so seamlessly with my uh, wardrobe. So this was like a no brainer. Now I did get this uh, bag off the pre-love market because like I told y'all, this is a bag that I personally would never pay full price for again because I always see it on the pre-love market for in such great condition for a great price. I did pay under a thousand dollars for this bag. I also had like a credit on the site. So I paid a little bit of nothing thing for this bag and she's in great condition the only thing she had was like they said a mark what i love about fashion file they gonna really run you them details down okay and the bag be in great condition so this is how the bag will look crossbody so y'all do y'all see that color y'all see that color mm -hmm. so good oh so i know for a fact between the um this brown and my black antagona girl i'm gonna be going back and forth i've already been wearing the black one out so as soon as i got this one i started wearing her more y'all she's just so good okay so this is definitely the new bag in the collection and y'all gonna be seeing her a lot okay just oh y'all this color is sickening and i did get it in the box leather for me i like the box leather leather better than the pebble the pebble is way too casual for me and i just feel like it, it, it just wouldn't go with my wardrobe. It's way too casual, but with this girl, I can dress her up or down. She's just that girl, but the color, the color. Now, the funny thing is, I don't know the color. The They say neutral. <sighs> Y'all, she's so pretty. She's so pretty. Hi, girlfriend. So that is all that I have for this video. Hopefully, you guys take something away from it. I hope that this video was entertaining, but also informative because the purpose of me creating fashion content, I want you guys to take something away from it. I want you to kind of like when you're shopping and you're getting dressed, I want you to think, what would G buy? What would G think? What would G tell me not to buy this? You know, just take these tips and stuff with you because I'm actually excited to take you guys on the journey of revamping my personal style, which, yeah, I'm loving. I don't have like a name for my personal style. I'm not really the girl to go I guess to like do a Pinterest board or something for me it's not really like a clean girl aesthetic any like anything like that for me it's all vibes I go off the vibe okay I know I want to add a little more grown and sexy pieces that's why I do I'm buying a lot of mini dresses and form fitted dresses and things like that because I am trying to kind of like elevate and get into my grown girl era but I ain't got a name for it it's all vibes I'm telling y'all when I get dressed I put on that playlist pull me a glass of wine and we gonna fill the vibes out and right now I don't have a name for my developing style it's just it's a vibe okay it's a lifestyle if you girls enjoyed this video, like, share, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you girls in the next one.